right, thank you so much for the breaking news. Really appreciate it. Adam Housley in Bogota, Colombia. Well, could this help bring down oil prices? Crude hitting another record, above 106 bucks a barrel before falling back a bit today. Black gold, as it's called, it's been on a tear. But if my next guest is right, it is about to plummet. He is prescient, I guess. Kevin Kerr of Kerr Trading joins us now. Kevin, I mean, we've just heard uh, from Adam in Bogota. It seems like peace is breaking out all over Central of South America, excuse me, uh, is this going to help the oil situation? Yeah, a group hug in South America, that's <laughs> fantastic. Uh, you know, the bottom line is these kind of events happen all the time. Uh, we see them and they suddenly disappear. You know, the crude oil price is very, very high right now. There's no disputing that. We're at record levels and there's plenty of supply on the market. And we have to look at this in two perspectives. One is a long-term view, one short-term. If we're talking about a short-term, there's no reason the oil price should be at this level right now, even with these kind of geopolitical events and even with high global demand, especially with those employment numbers we saw today. Mm -hmm. We are in a recession. We are going to see less demand. We're heading into the traditional season that we see a reduction in demand. And, and higher supply right now. So until we get into midsummer, I, I would expect these prices to come down quite a bit. We've started to see that Americans, for the first time in recent memory, are, are cutting back on the oil, their gasoline purchases. That's going to have a dampening effect on prices, you believe? Absolutely. Uh, you know, not only gasoline, but of course, if, if manufacturing jobs are being lost, we're going to see a slowdown in demand here in the U.S. and also in other parts of the world. Uh, again, the, the big part of this to remember is there is a lot of speculative money in these markets, and it swings both ways. If we look at this price at 105, we could easily say there's 15 or 20 dollars in this price that is speculative. I don't discount it because it's real money, but it could swing to the downside just as quickly. Okay. Well, maybe some good news for cash strap consumers. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good to have you with us. Kevin Kerr. Well, the fight over Florida and Michigan. Is Senator Hillary Clinton about to get her way?